in this experiment number 4 isometric drawing exercise number 4.1 now this exercise belongs to inch system now students try to remember one thing to create isometric view which is also referred as pictorial view or you can say the simply 3d view so to create a single isometric view you need to understand a box method where the width is you can derive from the uh, front dimensions the height will be this one and depth will be this one so you need to visualize what is the height width and depth dimensions after that you can draw this isometric view now isometric view is basically drawn at 30 degree from the horizontal so here uh, now another thing is that how we are going to lay down this uh, shape right well whether like on a this directions or or left direction or right directions now it is a thumb rule that you have to lay down that view or in that direction which shows maximum detail of this given orthographic view in the form of isometric drawing so for example in this i am going to draw like this so you can understand what i mean like this okay so that will give you the overall sorry overall idea about how to complete the exercise so let's switch over to autocad now when you want to draw isometric views first you have to switch over your environment so if you are using latest version or any version uh, after 2020 you will find option over here at the bottom right click that uh, options it will initiate your isometric mode or if you could not find it or your version is older than mine version or you can say simply use the option called iso draft okay when you hit the enter you can choose any of this option either iso plain left iso plain top or iso right just click it it will take you to the isometric uh, environment now here if you if you want to change this uh, for example at this time the cursor is indicating left plane press f5 to switch over to isoplane top just uh, play very close uh, attention to the command prompt it display the options if i press f5 again it will switch to the isoplane right so this way you can switch from left plane to top top to right now let's draw the isometric view of given figure so for that i am going to create a box so this dimension will be 3.75 Vertig vertically i will move by 1.5 then come back to 3.75 and i'll close this geometry now i will i will copy this all of these four lines and i will choose this base point and press f5 to copy in a uh, right plane or sorry left plane by the distance 2.25 okay now will i try to complete the box like this okay so this is very simple method you can create a box and after that we are going to draw remaining part now let's try to complete the uh, remaining part so here let's derive this line and try to connect draw the upper part the so dimension will be as given 0.75 down to draw downward line i have to press f5 to switch over to the right plane now this dimension is from the dimension given 1.5 minus 1 is 0.5 so 0.5 now on a left side this will be you can say 3 minus 0.75 it will be 2.25 so 2.25 upward it is 0.5 and like this now let's delete this part and copy this these three lines 1 2 and 3 so co for a copy this will be the reference point like this now turn your plane to the left and try to complete the this lines now in isometric you do not have to draw any hidden line for example if i draw this line right the selected one now it is not visible in isometric so I, i i don't have to draw it i have to delete it right also i have to delete the remaining part like this and this which is not visible okay i can also remove this uh, behind line 
these two lines i hope uh, it is clear to you now let's say uh, i want to draw a top circle over here but in isometric the circle is basically ellipse so for that what i have to do is i have to simply use ellipse command over here so select first option or keyboard shortcut is el for ellipse okay enter now under this look at at the very bottom there is option called iso iso circle or simply right click iso circle select this now here exactly the circle is given in the uh, by the dimension 1.88 and from at the bottom 1.13 so how can we do that very simple either you can draw like this let's say it is 1.88 and diameter d is 0.75 okay now i will, I will take to the this point and then i will move in this direction by 1.13 this is the method by which you can transfer the circle to a locations okay i hope student it is clear to you in isometric you have to create a box then you try to create the inner details and delete the unnecessary lines